Hello, hello. How are you today? Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes? yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. How are you today? How very is good. It Tuesday? Fine. And you? Fine. Uh, just trying to advance in the week. Uh, you see the time is passing so fast. We are about to finish September. So I think this is going to be very fast. <laughs> I don't know about you, but in my case, I'm feeling that it's going very, very fast. Okay, my dears, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, today we are going to start, as I said in the previous class, today we are going to start um, section number three, okay? So for section number three, we have, let's see, Okay, let's see, I don't know why it doesn't allow me to open the presentation, but finally I did it. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Um, let's see, I want to go to the platform with you, so let me try to share. Okay, let's see what happens if I can share with you. Share and then we go to the platform. Okay, very good. There, there you have the, the view of the platform. Okay, so today we are yes. in section number three. Uh, the topic name is What's Your Neighborhood Like? So this is like, uh, Como es tu vecindario, verdad? Uh, so uh, the lesson objective for this is. Let's see if we can open it. Okay, it says, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to their is, their are um, in, in this, in this uh, conversation. So I won't, I won't necessarily uh, play the conversation. Maybe we can do the conversation in pairs but now I just want you to pay attention to the expressions there. It says, excuse me. Uh, let's see. We have, let's see if I can advance here in order just to see the, the conversation. Because, okay, I just will need to advance a little bit on the video. Okay, but later. So the idea is that in the conversation, you will find words like there is and there are. So we normally use there is for um, a singular and we use there are for plural, okay? So uh, let's see what happened. Okay, we don't want pupusas. <laughs> okay, there's pupusas. Don't oh, <laughs> 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 <No> worry. <laughs> Send me two, please. <laughs> Don't worry. That's that's pupusa's time. Okay. Es que aquí pasan vendiendo de todo. I know, but it's good. <laughs> it's good, my dear. Imagine that you arrive late and that you don't want to cook, and that there's nobody there, nothing to 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 purchase or to buy. It's very sad. <laughs> So it's much better. <laughs> okay, what I want you to show in this conversation is the keyword. Um, it says, excuse me, I'm your uh, new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in, moved in. Me acabo de mover, ¿verdad? O me acabo de mudar. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Are there? Um, hay algunas. Uh, grocery stores is like uh, la tienda de abarrote, but that is like a, a mini supermarket, something like that. And then it says, uh, yes, there are some on Pine Street. So again, we have the word, the, the, the expression there are. Oh, good. And um, is there a, laund a laundromat near here? That's another question, right? Is there? In here, we use is there because we are talking about only one thing in singular. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. So once again, there's, we can say there is or there's, 
okay? And the, the boy says, uh, thank you. And the lady says, by the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. And the mm -hmm. boy says, a barber shop? <laughs> so he didn't realize that the lady thinks that he has a lot of hair, <laughs> not normal for a boy, <laughs> because it's an old lady, you know. It's very <laughs> traditional. <laughs> okay, so that's the expressions we are going to to work with today. So we are going to stop sharing this and I'm going to share the presentation just to give you more feedback on the topic, okay? So here we have there is. There is is used uh, as a complement for singular and we are talking about only one thing, only one person, only one place, okay? So for the affirmative sentences we say, there is a chair in the kitchen. So it's an affirmative sentence. But if I want to say a negative sentence, I, I say there isn't a chair in the kitchen. But if I want to make a question, I say, is there a chair in the kitchen? If you see, I move the verb be at the beginning of the sentence and, there the, and then the word there. If I want to talk about more than one thing, we have the plural complement for two or more things persons or places. And then for the affirmative sentences, I say, there are three chairs in the kitchen. There aren't three chairs in the kitchen, if it's a negative sentence. And if it's a question, we say, are there three chairs in the kitchen? So that's a question. Okay, so uh, I would like that you can uh, use your mics and that we can repeat the sentences, okay? Just to get familiar once again with the expression. <clears throat> okay, here we go. There is a chair in the kitchen. There is a chair in the kitchen. There isn't a chair in the kitchen. There isn't a chair in the kitchen. Is there a chair in the kitchen? Is there a chair in the kitchen? There are three chairs in the kitchen. There are three chairs in the kitchen. There aren't three chairs in the kitchen. Are there three chairs in the kitchen? Are there three chairs in the kitchen? Very good. So uh, there you have examples. So what about the structure? Once again, the structure is here. Okay, for the affirmative, the formula is to write the, the word there plus Singular is plus a singular noun. So we have, there is a book on the desk. But if I have a plural in an affirmative sentence, I use there plus the word are, the verb be for plurals, and I say, um, and I add a plural noun, and then I say, there are books on the desk. Uh, and if I have also an uncountable noun, uh, do you remember uncountable nouns? Yes. Can you give me an example? Uncountable milk. water. Milk, water, sugar, salt, rice. Air. Very good. So if I have an uncountable noun like those, I say there is plus the uncountable noun. For example, there is some milk in the refrigerator, something like that. If I have a negative um, sentence, I also have there at the beginning of the sentence, but I use the contraction, isn't, aren't. So I say there isn't plus a singular noun, and I say there isn't a pen on the table. Um, if I have a plural, oops, sorry. If I have a plural, uh, a ne negative sentence, I say there aren't. So I use aren't. I contract are plus um, the contraction for not. And I use a put noun and I say there aren't. There aren't any pens here. Okay, so if you see, I'm using any also, the word any. If I have an uncountable noun, I say there isn't. Okay, there isn't. Uh, any juice in the fridge, okay? So what I do to have a, a question is to move 
is at the beginning of the sentence and say, is there a cat on the chair? But if I have a plural uh, subject, I say, are there cats on the sofa? Okay, and I can also use these expressions with WH words or WH questions. For example, how many? How many plus plural noun plus are there? How many students are there in your class? How many days are there in February? So the contractions, for there, for there is, I say there's. For there, there is not, I say there's not. Or I say there isn't, okay? Or uh, for there are not, I, I use there aren't. Okay, once again, let's go and repeat. Okay, there is a book on the desk. There is a book on the desk. On the desk. There are books on the desk. There are books on the desk. There is some milk in the fridge. There is some milk, there is there is some milk, milk in the fridge. In the fridge. <laughs> there isn't a pen on the table. There isn't a there pen, is there a pen, pen, on, a pen the on the table. There aren't any pens here. There, there aren't, aren't any pens here. here. There isn't any juice in the fridge. There isn't, there isn't any, juice any juice in, any juice in, the, fridge. Juice in the fridge. Is there a cat on the chair? Is there a cat, there a cat on, the on the chair? Are there cats on the sofa? Are there are cats there on the sofa? sofa? How many students are there in your class? How many How students many are there in your class? In class? How many days are there in February? How many, How many days, days are there, are there in, in February? February? How many days are there in February? Okay, there is, there's. There's. There's, there is. There is not. There's not. There's not. There is 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 not. There isn't. There are not. There are not. There aren't. There aren't. Okay, very good. Okay, Isabelita, don't, don't worry. Isabelita is having problem with the audio. Okay, let's see if it can be solved. Okay, very good. Um, so, uh, what I want you to do is that you can take as example those sentences and that you can design one sentence uh, for you. Quiero que vean estas oraciones y quiero que decidan hacer una oración eh, cada uno de ustedes, ya sea afirmativa, eh, plural, afirmativa, singular, o negativa, plural, negativa, singular, o pregunta, ¿verdad? So I will give you 30 seconds to think about, ¿ok? Les voy a dar 30 segundos para que lo, para que lo piensen. Entonces cada uno va a decir una oración como prefiera. When you're ready, you let me know. Cuando estén listos, you say, teacher, I got it, I have it, I'm ready. Um. I'm, I'm ready. Okay, Noe. Um, how many students are there in our class? Okay. So who would like to answer? ¿A quién le gustaría responder? <coughs> I have, let's see, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I can say, Noé, there are nine students in our English class. Okay? Very good. So, um, who else would like to continue with the question? I'm ready. Okay, let's see. There is a gas station near my house. Okay, very good. Thank you, my dear Larissa. Very good. You're welcome. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, Julie, go ahead. Okay, are there few dogs in the street? Okay, very good. 
Me. Ok, Katia. The cat in my bed. Ok. Next participation. Thank you, Katia. You're welcome. Ok, we have uh, Miguel. We have Guillermo. Sure. Ok. Ok, Miguel, go How, ahead. Ok. How many days are there in February? Ok, very good. Thank you. Ok. Isabelita, Nicolás, Guillermo. Hi. Ok, Guillermo, go ahead. It's, it's a question? question or... the, the one that you prefer, affirmative, negative or question. Okay. Um, there are many books in my table. Okay, very good. Thank you, Guillermo. Let's see. Okay, Isabel. Okay, okay, go ahead, uh, Nicolas. Okay. Is there a dog in my house? Okay, very good. Good question. Okay, let's see. What's missing? Isabelita, I don't know if you can listen to us. Teacher, I, I have a, a problem with my audio. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Just listen to us. We understand. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, my dears, congratulations. Now you know how to identify an affirmative sentence, a negative sentence, and a question using there is or using there are. Okay, very good. So uh, let's continue. And then, oh, it's freezing. Mi pantalla se frizó. Okay, ahora se movió. Okay, so just to give you uh, extra feedback, uh, we have here, uh, once again, that there is, it's for singular, there is a pen on the table. There are, is for plural. There are two pens on the table. Or we can say in a negative way, there aren't any pens on the table. Or there aren't two pens on the table. Or we can say in an affirmative way, there are three pens on the table. And if I have a question, I say, is there a pen on the table? Are there two pens on the table? And we can provide even a short answer, a yes, no, short sure answer. For example, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay? Uh, listen, um, for the affirmative, there are, there is no contraction. Okay? The affirmative, there are, as it says here, doesn't have a contraction form. Okay, so what we are going to do now is that we will go to the conversation in the platform and I would like that we can practice this, okay? Because I want you to speak. Okay, I would like to have pairs. You decide who is going to be your partner and you can change the conversation. Instead of asking for the laundromat, you can ask for the pharmacy, for the supermarket, or for a library, I don't know, you decide. You can change the, a little bit the conversation as you want, okay? Eh, vamos a tomar esa conversación de base, vamos a escoger una pareja y podemos cambiar cosas como en lugar de pe preguntar eh, for a grocery store, we can ask for a supermarket, for a pharmacy, eh, and instead of asking for a laundromat, we can ask for any other thing like a library, like a coffee shop, something like that. You decide, okay? Okay, would you like to repeat the conversation with me first? ¿Le gustaría repetir la conversación con uno primero? Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, go okay. ahead. Let's repeat. Let's do it. Let's repeat. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor. I'm your new neighbor. Jack. 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 You Jack. can mention your name here. Usted puede poner su nombre ahí, ¿verdad? I just moved, I just moved in. 
Are you I'm just smoking. smoking. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 I'm looking for a grocery store. I'm, I'm looking, looking for, for a grocery, grocery, store. grocery store. Are there any around here? Are there, Are there any, any around, around here? here? Yes. 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 There yes. are some on Pine Street. There, there are, are some, some on Pine Street. On Pine Street. Oh, good. Oh, oh good. good. And oh, is good. there a laundromat near here? Um, yes. Is there and a laundromat, a laundromat here? near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Well, well I, I think there is one, one across, across from, from the shopping, shopping center. center. Remember that if it's a British accent, you will say shopping center. But if it's American, you will say shopping center, and it's the same, okay? Center and shopping center. center. Yes, center. In, the, in the British English, they, they are like more strong, and they say shopping center. But if you speak with an American, they will say shopping center, okay? And it's the center. same. Center. Yes. Okay. Yes, and it's, it's the same American. thing. It's only the American English uh, way of, to pronounce. Shopping center. Yes. And the boy said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank by, you. By, the way, by the way, by the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. There's a barber there's shop. There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? A barber shop. Ok, ese by the way es por cierto, ¿verdad? O sea, aunque no me hayas preguntado, yo te doy by la información way. adicional, okay. ¿verdad? Por cierto, ¿verdad? So, uh, because the lady thought that the boy was too, <laughs> too has, is um, having a long hair. <laughs> too hairy. <laughs> like a hippie, <laughs> something like that. Ok, very good. So, you decide who is going to be your partner to work with. Usted va a decidir quién va a ser su pareja para trabajar. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cree que puede quitar el pie, el pie del, del... Fíjese que es lo que estoy tratando de hacer. Ah, ahí está, ahí está. Ya, solo Pero... póngale en la, en la crucita. Yeah, ok. A ver, permítame. Ahí estaba ya. Ok, está muy bien. Va. Va. Es que siempre se meten, fíjese. Pero, teacher, teacher, hay una crucita a su lado derecho, sí, sí. arriba, arriba. No, no, no. Arriba. No. Sí, y sobre, sobre ese. Sé que so... tú. Ay, ya sé que es lo que pasa. Venido, no te vi. Lo voy a mover a ustedes. Lo voy a mover. Ya sé. Ahí está. Esta. 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 Very ok. Good. Esta no lo vale. miraba. Lo voy a poner aquí. Much better. Mucho yes. mejor, ¿verdad? No. Yes, no. much better. No, teacher, ¿Quién dijo no? Dale a alguien ahí. Me, teacher. The, the picture of the girl. Ah, the picture of the girl. Let me see what I can, what can I do. Okay, let's see. Let me move around this. Is the other picture. Me voy a aquí. Adelante el video, teacher, para que desaparezca. Sí, lo voy a trazar un poquito. ¿Ok? Ok. Ahí está. Ay, volvió a salir la, la teacher. Ahí está. que camine. Ahí está. Okay. Ahí estamos. Very good. Ok, ¿lo ven mejor? Yes. yes. Much better. Ok, very good. Much better. Ok, you decide who you will work with. Usted decide con quién va a trabajar. You choose your partner. <laughs> no, 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 todo al mismo tiempo. Nobody at home. <laughs> <laughs> ok, I choose, uh, eh, ay Dios mío, Nicolás. Uh -huh. Okay, Nicolás. Que, que dice Acogolfo. <laughs> Ajá, but he's Nicolás. Okay. okay. I am Jack. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor. 
Jack. I just moved on. Move it in. Moved in. Move, move in. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm, I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundry, laundry, laundry attic near laundry, here? Laundromat. Laundromat, laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay. it's a very polite way to say go and cut your hair. <laughs> Okay, very good. Very good presentation. Congrats. Okay, my dears, who would like to continue? Um, me, teacher. Okay, very good. Noé. Noé, who are you going to work with? ¿Con quién va a trabajar, Noé? Um, me, I want Jack. Okay, you will be Jack, but who is going to be your partner? ¿Con quién va a trabajar? <coughs> La presentación. We have uh, Guillermo uh, available, uh, Arnold, Julie, Katia, Isabel. I want to be Mr. Day. Uh, Katia. Oh, okay, very good. Hi, Noe. Hi, Katia. <clears throat> Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And <clears throat> is there a laundromat near here? I think there's one across shopping center. Thank you. By the way, barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Oh my God, what does this lady mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, Noe. Very good, Katia. Thank you very much. Okay, we have missing Miguel, Arnold, Julie. Me, teacher. Okay, Julie, who is going to be your partner? Uh, Isabel. Isabelita, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, very good. I'm Jack. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor. Jack, I'm just moving. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a, a grocery G store. Yo puedo cambiar. Yes. I'm looking for a gym. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some um, fine street. Oh, good. And um, is there a grocery store near here? Well, I think there's some one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By, by the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, very good. But Julie doesn't want to cut her hair. <laughs> she has a beautiful hair. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Isabelita. Um, we have here Arnold and Miguel. Would you like to participate, you both? Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. Arnold. Hi, Miguel. Hi, teacher. Okay. Empiezo. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I'm just moving. Just moved in. I just moved in. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on Pine Street. 
Oh, good. Put a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Mm, by the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, thank you. Miguel doesn't need a barber shop. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. thank you. <laughs> thank you, Miguel. Okay, Guillermo, now You're it's welcome. your turn. I okay. will ask Noé. Noé, could you please uh, perform the conversation with Guillermo, please? Because I think there's nobody okay. else. Okay, good. I'll be Jack. Okay. Okay, Jack. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighborhood, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And there is, and is there a landlord, Matt, near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Oh, thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in thank the you. shopping center too. And you say a barber a shop? A barber shop? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Guillermo also doesn't need a barber shop. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, boys and girls. Neighbor es vecindario. Perdón, neighborhood es vecindario, ¿sí? A esa palabra que tenemos ahí escrita le agregamos una H, W, O y D y nos dice neighborhood, es vecindario. Y neighbor, tal cual está escrito ahí, es vecino, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, neighbor en neighborhood. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, now we are going to continue with the presentation. So I'm going to stop share here. And I'm going to share the presentation once again. You did a great job uh, performing the conversation. Now I want that you can help me to complete these exercises. And then we are going to um, uh, read, read them loud. And then we are going to try to do other uh, questions and uh, negative sentences. Okay, so here we have number one. There is a library next to the park. There All is a library. Next I'm to the sorry. park. All the students went home. There aren't any students in the classroom. Okay, those are the examples. But what about the, the, the other sentences? For example, number three. There are. There are. Okay, there are because we are talking about 50 states, right? So it's plural. Okay. Uh, number four. Mm, no, there, there aren't. No, there aren't, right? It's a negative. When you see no at the beginning, it's because we are talking about a negative sentence and we say, no, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. Okay, uh, let's see number five. There is. There is. It's, is a, it's there? a question. It's a question. Okay, uh, very is good. There, is, is there? Very for good. me. Is there any message for me? For example, when you uh, go out from your office and you come back and maybe you ask to your uh, coworker or to your secretary and to the person, is there any message for, uh, for me? And they say, no. There, there isn't. Okay. Very good. Uh, what about number six? Uh, why are there okay why are there so many cars in the parking lot okay very good uh, number seven i'm hungry there is there? okay if we don't see a question mark we can say that this is an affirmative sentence so there is. There is a restaurant across the street. Okay, it's like a recommendation. If you're hungry, go there. 
Okay, very good. Number eight. How many days are there? Are there? Yes. This is a question because we start with a WH word, how, how many, and then we have a question mark at the end of the sentence. How many days are there in March? 30 or 31? Okay. Number nine. Are there? There are. There are, right? There, there are. There are. Sorry, sorry. There are. There are. There are. Yes, because uh, we are talking about a few things and there is no question mark. It's an affirmative sentence. So there are a few things that I have to do this afternoon. Okay, and we are talking about plural things. That's why that's why is there are. Okay, very good. Number 10. Is there is there? Okay, very good. Is there? Is there a post office nearby? I'm sorry, I don't know. Maybe she's asking to a, a person that doesn't live there. Okay, uh, something I can help you with? Are there or is there? Are there. Is there. Is there, right? Is there because something, I algo con lo que te pueda ayudar? So is there something I can help you with? Okay, uh, number 12. What do you think is the right answer? No. There are. There are. Okay, so it's an it's a negative sentence. So no, there aren't. There aren't. Uh, public okay. public holidays because we are talking about holidays. 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 Public holidays. Uh, next month. Okay, it's like when we are looking at the calendar and we say, oh, there is not a holiday, for example, in October. <laughs> we after September 15 and before November the 2nd. <laughs> there is no public holidays in October, so sorry. <laughs> okay, but are there. how many countries? Are there. are there in the world? Okay, uh, what about number 14? There, there, is. there is. Okay, there is a woman in the picture. She's smiling. Okay, uh, number 15? There, there, are. there are. There are only three months before the exam. Let's study. Okay, very good, good job. You identified properly the right answers. So now we are going to repeat the sentences and then we are going to go in pairs asking some of the questions that we have here. Okay, let's repeat. There is a library next to the park. There is a library next to the park. All the students went home. All the students went home. There aren't any students in the classroom. There, there aren't, aren't any students, students in the, the classroom. classroom. There are 50 states in the United States. There, there are 50 states in the United States. No, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. No, no there, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. Is there a message for me? Is there a message for me? No, there isn't. No, no, there isn't. Why are there so many cars in the parking lot? Why are there so many cars in the parking lot? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I am hungry. There is, a restaurant. there is a restaurant across the street. There is a restaurant across the street. How many days are there in March? 30 or How one? Many days are there in March? Uh, there are a few things I have to do this afternoon. There, there are, are a few things I have to do this afternoon. Is there a post office nearby? Is there a post office nearby? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Is there something I can help you with? 
Is there something I can help you with? No, there aren't public holidays next month. No, there aren't public holidays next month. How many countries are there in the world? How many countries are there in the world? There is a woman in the picture. There is a woman in the picture. She's smiling. She's smiling. There are only three months before the exam. There are only three months before the exam. Let's study. Let's study. Okay, very good. Good job. So, what I want you to do now is that you choose a partner and that you choose one of these questions. For example, if I say, why are there so many cars in the parking lot? The other person has to think in the answer and maybe he or she can answer, ah, because there is a party, okay? ¿Por qué hay tantos carros en el parqueo? Entonces la respuesta, because, ¿verdad? Recuerden que para la respuesta why, la respuesta es, because, para la pregunta why, ¿por qué? La respuesta es porque, ¿verdad? Because. Because there is a party. Or something like that. For example, if the question is, how many days are there in, you can change the months, in May or in April, and then, uh, 30 or 31, the other person says, there is 31 days in March, okay? Okay. La, entonces, okay. La, la persona que responde tiene que como ingeniárselas para dar la respuesta a esa pregunta, ¿sí? Pero luego tiene el derecho de preguntarle a otra persona. <laughs> so you don't, <laughs> don't be so <laughs> cool. <laughs> Okay, you decide who wants to start. Hello. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, uh, Noe, uh, who are you going to ask the question? ¿A quién le va a preguntar? Um, I need some pupusas. No, no queremos pupusas. <laughs> it's a joke. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> it's just a joke <laughs> to keep you smiling okay. and happy. Okay, go ahead. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to choose Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Uh, um, can I put um, Let me sing. Um, oh. How many uh, departments are in El Salvador? Mm. In my country are um, 14? 14. 14. 14 departments. There are 14 departments. There okay. are 14 departments. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Noe. Now it's your turn to ask Guillermo. You choose a person. Okay, let me see. Um, maybe Isabel. Okay, Isabelita. Are you there, my dear? Okay, great. Okay, Isabel. And do you know how many there is are in, in a week? Are there? How many days? How many days are there in a week? How many? Sunday, Monday. Ah, okay, okay. Um, uh, there are seven days. In a week. In a week. Yes, very good. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Guillermo. Thank you, Isabelita. Isabelita, it's your turn to ask to other per to another person. 
Okay. Teacher. Um, Hi, Guillermo. My pupusas. Sorry. <laughs> Those are virtual cheese pupusas with the chocolate. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, I. Um, my choice. Larisa. Okay, Larisa, Isabelita is uh, choosing you to continue. Okay. With the conversation, okay? Okay, I'm ready. There are park in the in you neighborhood. Ah, I just did not understand. Uh, could you repeat the question because we couldn't? Okay. Okay, interpret. There are in your neighborhood. But uh, I recommend you to, to choose uh, the questions. Escojamos las que son preguntas. Porque esa es una, esa es yes. una afirmación. El, ¿Qué le está preguntando que hay en el, en el neighborhood? Porque okay. no, no queda claro qué es, cuál es la pregunta. Maybe are you talking about houses, neighbors, uh, cars? Excuse me? Parks. Parks. Okay, very good. Okay, w once again, try to, to ask how many parks are there in uh, your neighborhood? How, how many parks in your neighborhood? Okay, Lisa. Okay. There is uh, one park in my neighborhood. Okay, very good. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you, Larissa. Larissa, it's your turn to ask. Okay. Um, no sé si ya participó Noé. Noé, yes, but we have pending Katia. Okay. We have pending Miguel. Okay. Yes, and no Nicolás. Okay, Katia, entonces. Okay, Katia. Okay. Katia, is there something I can help you with? No, there isn't. Okay. Okay. And you say, no, there isn't, thank you, right? Thank you. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you, Larissa. Thank you, Katia. Katia, it's your turn to ask. You can ask to uh, Nicolas Miguel. or Miguel. Miguel. Okay, Miguel. Mm. Okay. How many states are there in this state? Repeat, please. How many states are in the United States? In the United States. How many states are there in the United States? Number three. Yes, there are 50 states in the United States. Okay, very good. Thank you, Katia, and thank you, Nicolas. Nicolas, is your turn. Oh, sorry, Miguel. <laughs> thank you, Miguel. No, it's your turn to ask to Nicolas. Okay, Nicolás. Is there a post office maybe? Nearby. Nearby? Yes. Is there? Sorry. Yes. Repeat. Po a post office. Is there a post office nearby? 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 Yes. Uh, there is a post office nearby. Okay, uh, very good. Congratulations. You. you did a great Thank job you. asking questions using uh, is there or are there, okay? Remember that to ask questions, we move the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence. And the question is, is there or are there? If it's singular, we say is there. If it's plural, we say are there. Okay, very good. Questions until here? Preguntas hasta aquí? No, no. No, okay, great. Uh, just before we go, uh, I just want to encourage you to continue with the platform. Remember that the platform is your priority. Recordemos que la plataforma es nuestra prioridad, ¿verdad? 
Eh, quisiera saber quiénes ya iniciaron la, el trabajo en la plataforma, si todo va bien, si no hemos tenido problemas. Ya, teacher, ya empecé. Yo ya empecé. Ok, ¿todo bien? Por el momento, sí. Ok, very good. So, um, I will ask you to please go uh, to listen the video that is in lesson objective 3.2. That says, in this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer questions if we, with the, the, there is, there's a mistake, okay, un error. Is there is, there are, um, one, any, some. Okay? So, um, and then you will find a video like this, where there is an explanation about the questions. It's very similar to what we have been working today. ¿Verdad? Es similar a lo que hemos estado trabajando este día. And then, you will go to the knowledge. Ok, vamos a ir al, al chequeo del conocimiento, ¿verdad? Ahí tienen ustedes opciones. For example, you say, is there? And then you have to, cho to choose one option. And the answer is, is yes, there is one. It's on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. So, what you have to do is to go to the map and look for the corner Elm Street, and then you go Elm Street, Elm Street, let's see, let's see, let's see, and it says Maple Avenue. So let's see, maybe here, right? And here, and it says there is. And if it says uh, library, hotel, or park, maybe they are talking about the park, right? So you need to look for the location. Necesitan ver la ubicación para saber de qué están hablando. Pero no es difícil porque solo es una opción la que usted va a, a tomar. Okay? Once you finish and all the uh, answers are correct, you send the answer. If not, you can practice and practice until you get the right answer. Okay, for tomorrow, uh, let's see. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We are going to advance with uh, questions like how much, how many, and quantifiers, okay? So um, if there is no questions, I will stop here for you to go and rest. Si no hay preguntas, vamos a, a dejarlo hasta acá, pidiéndoles que avancen todo lo que puedan en la plataforma. Mañana iniciamos con... Eh, how much, how many y quantifiers, ¿verdad? Porque ya lo que es there is, there are, pues ya básicamente lo, lo manejamos, ¿verdad? Entonces solo es de ir a la plataforma y trabajar con esos ejercicios. ¿Es it ok? ¿Estamos bien? Ok. Ok, muy bien. Ok, muy bien. Fue un placer trabajar con ti hoy. Tenga un buen rest, sleep, and I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Ok. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow.